Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. We come together as a people of faith because we are called to be holy and to be drawn into this holiness of God who invites us to be the church. And so we come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call us by name for goodness and holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us by name to share forgiveness and mercy with others. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you call us by name to be the foundation of your church in the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We begin the liturgy of the Word with a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant, Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees and the proud he knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. O oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments, and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Who has been his counsel? Or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him, and through him, and for him, are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Peter, you are rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. Alleluia. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do you say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He told them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, 
and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are invited to reflect upon that call of Peter and the mission of the church. Jesus tells Peter that he is rock. And what's also important are the things that he didn't say. He didn't say, Peter, you are this finished stone, this brick, this cornerstone. He didn't say any of those. He said rock. And as you know, I mean, rocks come in in all different forms. Rocks come created in different ways and formed in different ways. One of the first merit badges I got as a Boy Scout was geology. And so in that, I learned about those differences of rocks. Some are sedimentary. They, they are created with sediments over and over a period of time, and they are layers, sort of like what we see in the Grand Canyon and how beautiful those layers and striations are. Others are igneous. They, they, they come from fire. They're created in fire, sort of like lava rock. They're just born in that sense of incredible heat. And then there's metamorphic rock, and metamorphic rock is, is about change. It, it, it's created in different ways. It, it comes from a sense of change. It doesn't matter what type of rock. Jesus said, you are rock, no matter how it is formed. A rock is not finished. It's incomplete. It's got rough edges. It's not perfect. And we know in the life of Peter, he was not perfect. There are times he said things that he wished he could take back. There are times he, he denied the Lord, even though he said he wasn't. Peter was bold in proclamations and yet pulled back. There were times he had moments of disbelief. And yet the Lord believes in him and says, You are rock. And upon this rock, I'll build my church. So we come together that this day, reflecting on not only Peter being called rock, but, but also this experience of what the church is called to be. We realize that it too, just like Peter, is imperfect. It, it too has its issues and, 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 and needs help to be able to be built into something wonderful. We need the Lord to do that. I think about our own lives and, and, and how we're called to, to follow the Lord in, in goodness and wisdom and love and how we're imperfect. We have sin. We have brokenness. But that doesn't stop the Lord from loving us. That doesn't stop the Lord from, from wanting to build something out of us. When we're called to be rock, to be strong in this church, we realize that, that rocks can, can be used to, to build incredible roadways, how incredible that is when, when rocks all come together and can build a roadway. But we also know that rocks can also be thrown. They can be thrown through windows. They can do destruction. They can, they can harm. They can become weapons. So the invitation for us is when we are called in, in the name of Peter to, to be the church, what kind of rock are we? No matter how we were created, no matter how our faith was formed, through sediments, through fire, through, through change, which we call conversion. The challenge is, what do we do? Are we going to become a roadway for others to get closer to the Lord Jesus? Are we going to be a rock that gets hurled at others through words of hatred, 
words of distrust, words that do not allow mercy and forgiveness to enter into homes. We're rock. This is the church, the invitation. Are we building a road and bridges? Or are we weapons of destruction? As a people, we renew our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a people called to be the church in the world, called to live this mission that the Lord has given to us, we now offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world, that it may be a light that dispels the darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray as well that the church may continue to be a foundation, a vehicle for those to come closer to God and that allows God to come closer to his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. We pray in a special way for an end to the suffering in this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for faith-filled citizenship in these days as we discern the future of voting in our nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end of violence, those who use stones to break the hearts and lives and businesses and windows of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also have some prayers that have been mailed in to us. We pray in a special way for all college students choosing to return to universities and their schools, that they may abide by the rules and regulations that keep them safe during these uncertain times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are invited to pray for life, for families, that all may be safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that creative ideas may be blessed in communication and creativity in the learning experience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who need physical recovery. We pray that God may give them peace and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are unemployed and underemployed. We pray for those who are looking for jobs, that the Lord may be a source of strength for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have been just diagnosed with cancer, for those who are awaiting doctor's decisions, that the Lord may calm their storms in these times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for help, comfort, and peace to the people of the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for married couples who have changed their dates, for those who are recently married, for all those who are struggling in commitments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
And now we invite you to add prayers in the silence of your home. Loving God, you call us to be church. Strengthen us in our resolve to be missionary disciples and follow you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through in your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of peace and unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is we right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through this Paschal mystery, he has accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Breaking the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he said the blessing. Handing the chalice to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Anne, the mother of Mary, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Ronald, our Bishop-elect, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that you've summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on this world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We are called to be church. We are called to build on this rock, this foundation of Peter, the apostles, all who have shared faith with us. And so at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us now take a moment and share peace, mercy, and forgiveness with others. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that we are constantly working towards bringing the Eucharist to all of you, we will have another transmitted celebration of the Eucharist at the end of September, and we'll try to do that once every month. We're looking forward to these opportunities in which, as we're called to be church, we can live as church, strong in our faith, in a time of crisis, in a time of a pandemic. Also, just on a personal note, I want to thank all of you for all of your prayers with regards to my eyes this past week. We finally saw the eye doctor again. You know how things are in the medical field and, and everything has slowed down some, but he was very happy with the progress and uh, took out six of the stitches uh, from the cornea. I still have 14 in there, uh, but it's attached well and it's healing well, so I thank you for all of your prayers. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Lord send you forth into this world with his blessings, those of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.